Hi everyone, this is Callie, welcome. Today I'm sharing a fall card using a bunch of gorgeous fall images from the Hey There Hey Ride set, as well as this mice add-on set, and also pulling in an older set, Happy Harvest. I just can't help but color this scarecrow every year, and this year he's hanging out with the adorable tiny mice from the Hey There Hey Rides mice add-on set. Okay, so we have these three stamp sets here that I'm gonna stamp and then we'll color. I have a panel in my mini Misty here that's four and a quarter by five and a half, and I couldn't help but fill the entire panel up with all the images that I could to fill up all the space. And then of course I started coloring and had too much for a card, so that's why my card ended up being a five by seven card. I'm using as few Copic markers as I can. So anything that I can color red here, I'm coloring red. And then I'll use some denim colors for the overalls on the scarecrow as well as on the mice. Now I'm pulling in some grays for the tires as well as the metal on that tractor. And then I'll also color the crows in black as well. And by black, I mean dark grays. <laughs> we wanna make sure that we can still see the crow's eyes and be able to distinguish some lightness and darkness and shadowing on all of these little images. And once I'm done with all of that, I'm gonna pull in some browns and color the wood. And for wood, I like to do lots of texture, so I do a lot of flicking, less so blending. So even if it doesn't look perfect, that texture makes it look a bit more realistic and intriguing. Okay, so once I am done coloring all of the wood, I'm gonna move on to the flowers. I'm coloring those sunflower stems very quickly in two greens, and then the sunflower centers in brown, and then the sunflowers in oranges and yellows. Now I know I'm going really fast, so if you're interested in these color combinations, be sure to check out the coordinating blog post where everything will be listed for you. And then lastly, I'm going to finish off with some browns for the scarecrow's face and his hat and some light, soft browns for the mice. And of course, I can't forget to add some little blush marks to the scarecrow's cheeks as well as to the mice's cheek as well. I use R30 for a larger section for the blush, and then I go in with an R22 and just add a little dot for a bit of concentrated color. To add some texture, I'm gonna use a monoline pen. You can just use any black pen for this, but I decided to draw some hatch marks on the scarecrow's hat, and then also add some plaid lines to his red shirt. This just gives that shirt a bit more texture and interest, and then I'll die cut all of the images off camera. Once everything is die cut, I can go in with a jelly roll pen and just add some white highlights everywhere. I like to do this after die cutting because sometimes I find that that white jelly roll, if it's not dry, will transfer onto my cutting plates. So I like to do it after, and after I've added all my white gel highlights on all the images where I want them, I'll go ahead and push all my images aside as they dry and work on the next steps of my card. I'm gonna stamp some sentiments here on the little sign indicating where the hay rides and corn maze is, and then that was gonna be set aside to dry as well. Now for some corn stalks, I'm using the corn stalks from both sets. There is a small and large, so it gives lots of variety. And I stamp it in yellow, and then I'm using a little foam dauber to add some green ink onto the centers of those corn stalks and then stamp them over until I get a dark enough impression and I'm happy with that foliage. Then I'll go ahead and piece the wagon together with the mice and I'll also add this little mice here to the tractor that he's driving and set that aside to dry. Now I'm working on a background. Again, this is a five by seven panel. I did try to see if I could fit everything on a five by two panel and it was a little bit too tight. So I'm ink blending here with the cloudy and grassy stencils. I'm working with the grassy stencil first at the bottom and I'm blocking off a dirt area for the tractor. Then I'm gonna lift my mask so that I can ink blend my cloudy sky using the cloudy stencil. I'm using Merman ink and after every cloud layer, I'm just gonna turn my stencil counterclockwise and add another layer until I reach that dirt grounding that I have stenciled before. Now, I wanted another grassy hill, so I'm using the simple grassy hillside dies, and I'm just gonna do a small strip of it so that we can add some perspective to our card, and then I'll adhere that just over that dirt road. 
I'll trim off the excess on this panel so that we have nice crisp edge and then I can start attaching all of my images. It's so fun for me to start building this scene. So once I have my tractor in the front there, I'm gonna attach my scarecrow and then attach all of my corn stalks around him and then add the sunflowers where there's open space and then make sure that I still have some space for the sentiment. Since this card is a little bit bigger, it's five by seven instead of four and a quarter by five and a half, I wanted to use a larger sentiment. And this one is from the Simply Celebrate Fall set. I stamped it directly at the top there in the center and then I've adhered it to a card base. And that finishes my card for today. If you are interested in any of the products that I used on this card, be sure to check out the links below. Everything will be linked for your convenience. And as I mentioned before, everything will be on the coordinating blog post as well. Thanks so much for stopping by and have a wonderful day. Bye everyone.